Florida lawmakers have approved a measure that would permanently expand a popular college scholarship. The Bright Futures program helps cover tuition costs for roughly 100,000 students. Channel 9's Michael Laparty is live on the campus of UCF this afternoon. And Michael, students told you this scholarship was a game changer for them. Greg, several students told me they worked extra hard in high school to earn that scholarship and that it was a key de decision in them deciding to stay here and go to school at UCF. On the campus of UCF today, it took us just a couple of minutes to find students who rely on the Bright Future Scholarship. It's really important to me because otherwise I'd not be able to get the chance to go to college. It pays for uh, almost half my tuition. Kimberly Velez and Luis Martinez told me the program was a game changer for them. It was definitely a big decision to like um, to stay here in Florida, but I, I know I made that decision because of Bright Futures. The scholarship has faced cuts in the past, but just this week, Florida lawmakers approved a permanent expansion. The change would cover 100% of tuition and fees at Florida colleges for top students called academic scholars and cover 75% for medallion scholars. In past years, both received a flat amount per credit hour that was based on the state budget. That'd be awesome. Um, it'd give me a kind of security that I'm going to get money every single year. The bill has already been sent to Governor Scott. Last year, he vetoed a different bill that would have expanded the scholarship because the measure included other changes he felt would hurt the state college system. Tuition for academic scholars was covered at 100% this year thanks to the budget, but this bill would make that change permanent. The state says this program covered about $200 million in college costs just last year. Greg? All right, and Michael, you said the governor vetoed the bill last year because it included other things he didn't like. What else is in this new bill? Well, the bill also includes a measure that would prohibit colleges from establishing a free speech zone. It would allow speakers to actually sue a college if students intentionally disrupt their speeches, and that's most likely going to apply to like a controversial speaker. That has faced some criticism, so the big question will be if some of those other provisions in this bill will be enough for the governor to veto it. Reporting live on campus, Michael Lopardi, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.